Brayson Bloomer at the dish. Took a splitter low, fouls that one off. Party Animals third baseman. Two-time Coastal Plain League champ for the Bananas. Back to back in 21 and 22. Loops that one towards center. Great read by Skoll as it dunks in front of DR Meadows. He's gonna test the arm, throws cut off. Donaldson chucks the return into center. DR there to back it up. RBI single for the Boomer. Party Animals get their first run of the night as Skoll scores for the 11th time in his 10th game played. He's also gotten two bases on all seven of his now tied for tour high sprints. Breland Domadova, first pitch swinging. The doctor is there and no one's at second to grab it. He'll call the way to Bill Leroy behind the dish. But no harm done. Bloomer wouldn't have had a chance to try and tag towards third with the speed at which it got to the Bananas catcher. The Boomer picks up his seventh ribeye of the tour. Heads up base running. Bruce Ziegler in the building and in the comments section. Appreciate you handling Q&A in there. Bloomer between the legs. Two tricks for the price of one this inning. Three by the party animals. That's good stuff. Donnie, for the most part, cruised through his first three innings, a one, two, three, first and third. It was a two-base sprint and a single from this man, Bryson Bloomer, that pushed across the first run of the night. Kristen with an absolute zinger in the K-Club chat. Yeah, split personality. I think that's a good, it's a good way to uh, explain what I'm experiencing up here in the booth. Party Animals third baseman with a 2-1 count. That one gets the black of the outside corner. Pitcher's pitch. Cloudy Electrons, I'm very happy to hear that you enjoyed the fireworks commentary on Saturday night. I pride myself in my fireworks play-by-play -play more so than I do as a baseball or banana ball broadcaster. Second fireworks show of the tour. It was excellent. Bloomer takes... The ball for sprint. Skoll will score easily from second. That was dynamite. Ball for sprint defense by the Bananas. Got it to all seven fielders awful quickly. They're able to hold the Boomer to first. That's only his second sprint of the tour. And Breland Almodova, first pitch he saw tonight, he lined to center. He's gonna give Donnie a free strike if he can throw it, and ooh, gets the call right around the vicinity of the outside corner. Bloomer can run over at first, four for five on the tour in stolen base attempts. Guy who never really had run in his college career, started with two years at Lincoln Trail Community College. And then finished up with three years at Murray State, proud of Lexington, Kentucky. He had three steals his first collegiate season, no steals his second year. Then in the 2020 shortened year at Murray State, just one steal and two attempts across 16 games. Then he came to Banana Land as he takes off for second and has it easily. He went seven for nine in 2021. This past summer, he was 16 for 17. And it translated over to Murray State, too. He was 19 for 20 at Murray State in his senior campaign. As Breland watches strike three. Bloomer now five for six in stolen base attempts on the 2023 season. And Chase Aka, the shortstop, steps into the box, ground out to third base his first time. Fireflies by Owl City. Excellent choice by Acuff to be his favorite song. It's a bangerang. Brings me right back to seventh grade. Acuff under that one. Hosley moseys over to left center and makes the snag for out number two. 
Six straight times reaching base for Jake Skoll. Two sprints, four hits. That ball right back where it came from. Bryson Bloomer swinging a hot bat. Skoll turns on the burners. Throw from DR Meadows. In time! Beautiful one-hop strike from the doctor. Could have had runners on the corners. With nobody gone for Breland Almodova. Instead, it's just Bloomer at first with one out. Bryson now two for two with a one base sprint. Drove in the inning winning run back in the second. And he's already swiped second base once tonight. That made him five for six on the tour. Attempts uh, in all of his attempts to Bogart bags. There he goes again, and he has done it again. Now six for seven in stolen bases. And the two, oh, that warms the heart to see you in the comment section. What's up with you, man? That one looped towards right. Noah Bridges diving catch. Second phenomenal play by the Bananas right fielder tonight. Deepest a party animal has gone into a game so far on the tour, and the great eight lofts it into center. Reese Hampton moseys under it for out number one. Wilson, a ground out victim to third base. Trick play by Bryson Bloomer on it. His first time up. And now Dalton Malden will be pinch hit for by Michael Deeb. Bananas looking for a spark. He cues it to third. Bloomer between the legs and a strike. Laser beam across the diamond. Adds to his two doubles, one RBI, one run, uh, two run scored night rather. Dances off second as Bryson Bloomer looks at his 2021 Coastal Plain League teammate, 60 feet and six inches away from him. Boomer, the Boomer, rather, was a banana for the whole summer. Matt Malatesta came in for the last couple weeks and recorded one of the more legendary pitching performances in Banana's history. Three shutout innings in the decisive game three of the championship against the Moorhead City Marlins, who are working on an attempt at a three-peat when it came to Pettit Cups. Bloomer, for his part, hit a monster three-run home run, which gave the Bananas a 9-0 lead at the time. And that is, whoa, look out, Jake. Second straight walk to start the inning. Skoll scores easily. Bloomer with his second four-ball four sprint of the night. He's been on base all four times, two singles. An RBI, and we'll make it two RBIs now on the night.